I think we're just about to go down. Yeah, she got troops there. Yeah, I'm, I'm having to force attack the archers well, hand we, to hand. Well, I think apparently, according to Matt, we lost all our troops anyway, so I wouldn't really be worried. Is all lost? All is not lost, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. I think, I think we're in slight difficulties. Oh, they're the archers. Oh, wait a minute. Right, it's the end. Defeat in the Oh, dear. <laughs> Where do you think it went wrong? Well, I mean, I hear about the communication problems, mm. but was the plan the yes. right plan? No, I don't, it I, couldn't have been. It was. It was. Um, we, we kind of uh, had a nice defensive strategy, and uh, and then we right. and then we attacked them, and all we did was provoke them to form a nice defensive line. Then we moved across and kind of messed about with our chariots a bit for over here, waste, wasted our opportunity. That, that was James' fault, wasn't it? Well, no, no, it's my fault because. I, can't, I, can't, I kind of didn't think that they were going to attack our chariots while they were sit, just sitting there away from their army. All right, let's see how the experts thought you did. They may not be harsh. <laughs> <laughs> this is any encouragement, they both flunked history at school. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Nearly. Gentlemen. Right, well, you did a good recce. You uh, got a good grasp of things, but I think you allowed, in some respects, the river and some of the other features to really dominate your thinking. So what you should have done is been much more aggressive. All of those nice things about caring about one another's feelings and not bullying people and all these other things you get in school, forget it. <laughs> Drive a chariot over them, grind them into the dust, stop the chariot, get out, jump up and down on them, put a few spears into them. That's the kind of approach you needed. You really needed to hammer them early on, use your superiority in chariots. First thing, almost the first thing Vicky said is time is on their side. And Peter uh, identified early on that uh, they needed to be aggressive. And there was a bit of talk, the plan came up, what we're going to do is hammer them. And hammer that bunch, and then we can hammer that bunch. That was exactly the right <laughs> thing to do. The only way that you could win is to take them on one by one. So that each time you could concentrate all your strength against only a little bit of Pharaoh's army. But Sam doesn't want to get his guys cut up in the fort. Now, that's not, not a bad idea. The problem was that it undermined the plan. So you had a good plan to start with. You abandoned it. You went back to the good plan, but by then it was too late. Two big pieces of the Egyptian army that had been far apart were able to unite, and you were fighting against that mass of Egyptian combat power. And by the time that other big chunk of the Egyptian army came, it was, it was really already too late. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see how the battle was fought, yeah. shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Now, Egyptians, Ramesses, Moving on, first couple of divisions. Amun, as it was called. Ray, the next division in the sequence, was moving up. So there they were, and near to the camp of Amun, that first division of the Egyptian army, was Ramesses with his personal encampment and his nobles and the others around him. So once they've made camp, one chunk of the Egyptian army is, is standing still, another chunk of the Egyptian army is approaching, and then who knows where these other chunks are. The Hittites, just using their chariots, take a bunch of them and start hitting that second part, the ray part. One, one. And stripping away the chariot protection from this group of Egyptians. Once the chariots have stripped away the Egyptian chariots, they start smashing through and cutting these guys up horribly. These infantry, as, as you may have noticed, are not especially good at that hand-to-hand -hand thing, and they are all put to flight. At that stage, it's clearly going the Hittites way. They've made their initial move, and they've hammered one of those leading Egyptian divisions. These guys are never forgiven by Ramesses. In fact, many of them were executed the following day because they'd been caught on the hop. They were really caught out by being in their marching columns, narrow at the front, long columns. You had to beat them while they were still in column. Then the Hittite chariots moved towards the encampments of the Ammon division. They come up to the Ammon division and they bash their way into the camp. And all the people in, in that camp, they'd been trying to defend it, it didn't work. And the Hittites get in amongst them. And this is a problem because charioteers think like cavalry. And once they've done that glorious charge, they've done it twice now, they start thinking about loot. They start thinking about 
getting something nice to bring home to the wife. So the Hittite charioteers stop fighting and start looting. At that point, and of course this is Ramesses' own account, rather coloured in his own favour, he leads this small number of few hundred men of his noble cavalry and begins a counter-attack. At that stage also, Ptah, the third Egyptian division, begins to deploy on and there are fresh troops. But Muatalish, the king of the Hittites, has got a bunch of chariots left. So although the Egyptians managed to bring a lot of combat power to the end of this battle, the Hittites also managed to bring a lot of combat power to the end of this battle. And this is before the Greek idea of having a battle with a winner and a loser. So this battle has historically no winner and no loser. So this historically is a stalemate. Yes, sir. But yeah. oh, not when you played, which was a real shame. <laughs> <laughs> the real Battle of Kadesh lasted for two days until the Hittite king, Muwatalish, offered a truce. Under the terms of a peace treaty, Kadesh remained in Hittite hands, but both leaders claimed victory to their people. Ramesses II became the most famous of Egypt's pharaohs. Even though you lost, you three are, are clearly going places, thanks in no small part to Mr. Booth, who's clearly a great teacher, a terrible general. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very Thank much. It's been really good fun. Thanks very much for playing. That's no. great. Thanks very much. Keep really good work. Yeah, well done, James. James. Strong nerves and a good sense of balance is needed next on UK TV documentary as we experience some radical highs.